What's good, people? We are back on One Picture Reviews for the new T Bone Colosseum. And honestly, this guy is not worth the difficulty. Like, seriously, this Colosseum is pretty difficult. And, like, T Bone is really, really, really bad. Like, I think he does reduce damage by 99% under 500 hit points. I mean, bruh, no. T Bone, no. You suck. But anyways, just do it for the reward. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Round one against the father from Tequila Wolf. Each of them do randomly a bunch of stuff. I will just like write it just on the right, but I don't really care. Uh, I just brought a bunch of health HP colors and a Kainu who does a lot of damage. I didn't even need to use Sabo, but really easy fight see you on round two round two we're against zoro and oh boy this guy is a pain first of all on stage one you get poison every turn for 1332 and when you get to zoro he got 1.7 million hit points and he will preemptively despair your friend captain for 55 turn and then silence both your captains for 55 turn and uh, he attacks for 7780 but to be honest it's every three turns so what will happen is that he will attack and then the next turn he will apply a counter and skip his attack and then on the third turn he will counter you but if you didn't do any damage he won't do anything to you and because it shouldn't be too easy he also gains a 33 hit barrier for three for two turns and then when these two turns are done he gains a free green orb barrier so basically the only time you can attack him is uh, when he's got his green orb barrier and uh, i brought this moria akainu team akainu is just here for uh, an, a strength strength character stats like he's the best best strength character sorry and what will happen is that you have to have at least three green orbs and when you're ready to go you just pop all your special and it should be uh, enough to kill him so i see you on round three Round 3 against Chopper, he got 3.6 million hit points and to be fair this fight is really easy. All he does is like when you pop an attack boost, he will boost uh, his defense to 240,000 for 2 turns and when you delay him he will gain a damage threshold for 3 turns. So just don't bring any attack booster and 3.6 million isn't that much even though you don't have an attack boost and you should be able to kill him pretty easily. Round 4 against Gob, he got 8 million hit points and he attacks you every 3 turns for 19,200. He will preemptively cut your HP by 90% and give you all recovery slots. I brought Young YB but you don't actually need the 40% health cut. Uh, so if you don't, if you didn't max your young white beard, the twenty percent half cut should be enough, because uh, as you can see, this team right there um, is able to burst for two turns, 
and I didn't even need the second turn boost so even with a 20% health cut you should be able to kill him in two turns so I'll see you guys on the final round And now we're on the final round against T-Bone, but we have to fight Gop once again on stage 4. So this time he only has 3.5 million hit points. And I brought this uh, Kinemon time skip Luffy team. Kinemon is basically here for the, the healing he gives into his captain ability. So on the first turn we're just going to take advantage of the mid orbs and just fully heal. Because as you noticed we brought Magellan. And we're going to need to tank a few hits from T-Bone, so that's why you, you need to heal for a little bit. And on the second turn, you pop Shanks, Timeskip Luffy and Ace this special to try and kill him. You have two turns to kill him. And even if you don't have any matching orbs, you can pop Kinemon special. It will give you uh, the matching orbs. And then we arrive on T-Bone. He has 2.2 million hit points and he attacks every turn for 5,000 but if you get him below 50% he attacks you for 10,000. The tricky thing about him is that when he revives he recovers 90% of his health. He will prevent heal, despair both your captains for 4 turns and give you a lower the rate of matching orbs. So while the technique right there is try and tank a few hits and when you see that your health is getting quite low uh, you pop Usopp special and at this point the poison from Magellan will have time to get higher and higher so the thing is like you need to spend as as few time as uh, like as little time sorry as possible when he revives because you won't be able to heal anymore so you want him to be killed like as soon as possible <laughs> So, sorry about that, um, now we just wait for the poison to kill him and at this point, I don't, I'm not sure if it was right now or afterwards that I pop gold, yeah it's right now, I pop gold to pass uh, Usopp special because I'm sure that at this point when the full turn will be over, he will be dead and when he revives he will be killed like really easily. I made a mistake uh, when he revived because I brought the... Um, V2 thousand sunny so you can tank a hit because uh, as you can see the poison from Magellan won't be quite enough to kill him when he, he revives and he will be under 50% so if you don't have enough health you could pop the sunny V2 and that should be able to let you survive but as you saw I had just enough health to tank the hit and yeah he dies so that's it i'll see you guys on the next coliseum